Oft have I heard of you, my lord Baroon, before I saw you. And the world's large tongue proclaims you for a man replete with mocks, full of comparisons and wounding flouts, which you on all estates will execute that lie within the mercy of your wit. <laughs> to weed this wormwood from your fruitful brain, and therewithal to win me, if you please, without the which I am not to be won, you shall, this twelve-month term from day to day, visit the speechless sick and still converse with groaning wretches, and your task shall be, with all the fierce endeavor of your wit, to force the painted impotent to smile. You say impossible. Mirth cannot move a soul in agony. Why, <laughs> that's the way to choke a jibing spirit, whose influence is begot of that loose grace which shallow laughing hearers give to fools. A jest's prosperity lies in the ear of him that hears it, never in the tongue of him that makes it. Then, if sickly ears, Deft with the clamors of their own dear groans will hear your idle scorns? Continue then, and I will have you and that fault withal. But if they will not, throw away that spirit, and I shall find you empty of that fault, right joyful of your reformation. <laughs> 